CME, Shalom, Shalom, greetings, Israelites, um, whether you are in the natural branch or you're grafted on in through the spirit. Um, this is Karis with Covenant Awakenings, and I'm going over, I'm going to go over an article that was published um, today, um, August 3rd. And the article is going to deal with an NBA player who had stood for the national anthem. So I know that there's a lot of veterans um, like myself that have served in the military or served their nation in some other capacity um, for numerous years. And I'm not going to take away um, anything in terms of being um, patriotic or, um, or anything that you may feel that you have towards the government or anything that you have in response to um, the Black Lives Matter and the way that the kneeling is uh, perceived. Now, I'm gonna go back a little bit to when this had gone on and, and on my little thumbnail page, it showed when he was standing and the reason why i say that you have to be careful of the action that you take in the land of your captivity because you have to understand what your actions will be interpreted as to your captors see i looked at it like this okay the man had said that he stood because, and this was from his words, because the article is on Fox News, if you want to see that, give now and out there as a reference point. And this is where I took the picture from, was from uh, their, their Fox News little Twitter article. But the, uh, the background was, was that the man had stood because he had said, that it was a religious thing. It was a religious thing to, to continue to kneel or to not kneel, but to stand for the flag. And I mean, we as Israelites, we understand the issues that the flag presents. We understand the issues that everything presents for being in our captivity. But you can't really... go to the to the argument that he should have known better yeah he should have known better i'm not going to argue that he should have known better and it's a shame that you have people that are in the truth but they're definitely in the twisted truth because of black lives matter not even being owned by quote unquote black folks so-called black folks so I kind of get that from there. But when you're trying to tie in that this is something that's a religious matter, then we have a problem. And, you know, I didn't really think too much of this when this was going on because I was just like, OK, there, there's somebody just showing out for the system. You know, it is what it is. But I have to now come back to what we're dealing with right now. And we're seeing Israelites dealing with folly. See, Israelites dealing with folly, it's a dangerous game. And I don't think people understand how dangerous this game is because they haven't really read Jasher 50. See, we think that, well, we know something. We, we have something. We get something. Oh, man, I awoke. When did you wake up? I woke up about whew, two months ago. I woke up with Deshaun Jackson and, and Nick Cannon. 
Carmelo Anthony tweets and uh, and all these other tweets. Yeah, you're waking up, but you're not understanding the actions that you're taking towards your people. That's now becoming dangerous. I, I think about that Ruit um, lady that was accosting verbally and physically accosting the 14 year old that was in North Carolina. She got released and a couple days later, she was found in, from Charlotte, she was found in Asheville. And, and as sure as God is still God, as sure as Yah, Yahua or Yahawa, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, faithful and true, as sure as he is still on his throne, as sure as he is still the Elohim, he's not letting this thing go unpunished. You understand there's now a shift in the spiritual. So that shift in the spiritual is always going to have a precipitation in the natural. It's like we know that the clouds are building. That's why we call it precipitation when it starts to rain. I know here in Florida, man, in the rainy season, oh, yeah, it's humid. It's humid. You know it's going to rain at 8 o'clock in the morning because of all the humidity. <laughs> so now we're seeing that. We see the seasons. We know how the days are going. So going back to that Ruit lady, I, I can't remember the, the, the first name and, and that's okay. <laughs> but she was let on out to do her, her craziness and she got ran over by a fire truck. Let that sink in. So this young man that plays for the Orlando Magic, because I, I know I, I noticed him when he played at uh, at Florida State. Uh, because I'm <laughs> I live here in Florida, so I, I follow his college bas basketball. I, I follow him. I follow him. So I'm not necessarily a Florida State fan, but I definitely enjoy when they beat Duke. I don't really enjoy it if they beat North Carolina, but you know they've been in a slump. But that's 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 a video for another day. <laughs> but you had to understand, listen, I don't necessarily agree with Black Lives Matter because I know the front for the group, but I definitely understand what I need to do to have solidarity in this time. That solidarity and the lack of solidarity has now cost us our lives. See, it's one thing to say something, and it's another thing to be judged by the Most High. And let me tell you, let me tell you, brothers and sisters around the world, the Most High's judgment came quick that night. Because if it was sincerity, which I don't think it was, that sincerity would have shown, hey, we have problems. And if you don't speak up against problems, guess what you're doing? You're promoting the evil. So now you see firsthand how quickly God's judgment can be. And my man's ACL has snapped. Career ending. Or oh, season, not career ending, season ending. But you know, here's the problem, especially here in this day and age. If you have any type of knee injuries, guess what your value is worth? It goes lower and lower and lower. Because this was a this was this man's second knee injury within the season, and because of the whole COVID nineteen uh, pandemic, he was able to get the rest he needed. Because really, that's the same amount of rest that you would have in an off season. Because it was like an off season plus. So he was able to have the strength and conditioning, the, the therapeutics, 
the physical therapy to be able to to help him recover for this quote unquote rest of the season. And my man didn't even get a chance to play not one full game after that demonstration. So when we see how quickly God's judgment can move, we have to understand, listen, that whole thing of getting off code now has spiritual and physical repercussions. See, we have to stop thinking in this white supremacist conclave that we are going to be bigger than the whole. That's white supremacy in a nutshell. I got to make somebody bigger than what they are. I got to make them think that they're bigger, but they're really not. See, we lost our collectivism, and that loss of collectivism is the direct result of white supremacy. They don't want to tell you that Greenwood, North Carolina still, or excuse me, Greenwood, Oklahoma, and Tulsa is still the most successful town ever. Not black town, town. because of the wealth that it was able to produce. It accounted for almost 40% of the GDP at its height. Think about that. Right before it got bombed to oblivion, it was 40% GDP. And we done lost 35% GDP and that was reported last week. So that is almost the amount of the economy that was lost in this COVID-19. Let that think, let, let that sink in. Think about that for a moment and let it sink in. See, we aren't understanding that this code thing, we as a community are coming back to each other. We're looking for the word towards each other. We're looking towards each other because when we're out of captivity, we're gonna to look towards each other. Which way is it to, Bab to Zion? When we get out of Babylon, which way is it to Zion? We're gonna look at each other. It didn't say, oh, we're gonna look at our captors. Uh-uh. We're, we're gonna look at some other Gentiles over on the other side of the pond. Uh-uh. We're gonna look within each other. We're going to look at our other Israelites. We're going to look at our fellow Yahudians. We're going to look at that bloodline of Israel and Israel only. And we're going to actually come with the, the consensus that we need to be on a different program and a different agenda, a different scale so we can start to plan and act and live differently. Because all we're doing, we're just living for destruction. Let that sink in. We are literally just living for destruction because that's all we've learned how to live in our captivity. So just on the recap of the story, think about what you're doing and who you're living for. Are you living for the most high? Or do you still want the, the praises and the accolades for a wicked generation? Listen, for me, I'd rather live for the most high than make millions of dollars in a system that's crumbling. And I thank the Most High that each and every day I see our brothers that are waking up in these 
higher social roles that's saying, look, I'd rather give it up and know who I am and deal with what I need to deal with to serve the most high because everything is for naught. And we see that every day. We see that every day. And it's just a testament to see that the most high, man, it's one thing to, to, to talk, but there's another thing for God, the most high, Yah, Yahuwah, to see your heart and see your actions. And when your heart and your actions don't line up or align, Judgment is coming for you, whether you're a Gentile or an Israelite. So I'm harder on us because guess what? We have to be refined in this fire, hotter, stronger, more intense. Because when we come up on out of here, we're pure gold. There's not going to be any dross found in us. No, there's, no gonna, there's not going to be any impurities found in us. So we have to start living like that right now. So if you like what Covenant Awakenings is doing, please like, share, and subscribe. I have my Patreon and Cash, lot, cash App in the links to this page. And I pray that as we continue to awaken, that many will go here and there to increase knowledge. And that increasing of knowledge always, always, always has to be led by the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh. So I thank you all for listening. And I'll be out with another video soon. Shalom, Siemi, Salama, Shalom. Peace, Israel.